guys, it's Ed, and it's Wednesday. And you know what that means? You get more of me. I hope that everybody is having a wonderful, fantastic, glorious, fabulous day. Now, there's been a time in my life that I've never had a pet. Or that not never had a pet. I've always had a pet. It's, it's From the time I was really, really little to now that I'm a big guy, I've always had a pet. Whether it dogs or cats or rats or fish or, you know. And I don't think I could have ever gotten through this last year without having having a little furry friend. And um, he's helped me a lot mentally. <laughs> and he's still a bit of a brat. I mean, don't get me wrong. He's still, he's still a brat. But... I, that's what I've come to expect it from him now. And he he's almost four. He'll be, well, he'll be four in October. So end of, end of 2021. But I can't believe he's already almost four years old. You know? Holy crap. <laughs> it just, it, it seems like I just, I just freaking took him in. I just, I just rescued him. It's just weird how... How time has has just gone by, and it feels it feels like it's just been yesterday, you know. Uh, and y'all know how I got him. I, I rescued him when I was working over at Dollar General. Found him in the chip aisle, <laughs> you know. So as is his name, Dorito Chip. That's his full name. He goes by many names. He goes by Chip, Dorito Chip, Chiplet, Brat. Or hey you, because sometimes he, he's a bit smarter than he gives on. Because he'll look at me, he'll look at me, and I'll tell him to go to bed. I'll tell him to lay down, and he'll just stare at me. It's like, well, what you gonna do about it? And he'll look right at the bed. He'll look right at the bed. It's not until I stand up and walk towards him <laughs> that he'll jump right into bed. He's an odd dog. He he knows how to play the game. Um. So, I mean, I've always had pets, ever since I was little to now. And it's hard to say when I have not had a pet. And it's the very minute times, you know? And that brings me to this question. Do you have any fond memories of, of animals or, or companions? Little, you know, furry critters or scalies? You know, you could be, you, you could like lizards and iguanas and <laughs> who knows, even snakes. You, I'm not going to judge. I won't have one in my life. No, no, you can have them for yourselves. And my roommate's wife, she has spiders. Oh, hell no. <laughs> hell no. You, oh, no, no, no. Uh, more power to her. But keep them away from me, because I will have no such nonsense in my life. <laughs> no. Uh, but one pet in particular that we had when I was, Joe and I were living in, um, in Bastrop, we had a little rat. Well, she was a big rat. She was maybe about that big named Aster. She was a white albino rat. And the sweetest little thing. She was, um, when, when I start, when she and I started socializing. She was already like 12, 13, I think. So she was an old lady. And she was just the sweetest little thing. She would ride on my shoulder. Uh, cuddle up in my in my hoodie when I you know on cold days she would just nuzzle up into my hoodie or right in my pocket <laughs> and she would always sit on my shoulder whenever I walked around the house she would always sit on my shoulder nuzzling up against me and like grooming my beard and showing affection and rats in general they're just I don't care what anybody says they're the sweetest sweetest animals to have. Um, Chip was a handful. 
and he'll show affection. But he goes spastic. He goes spastic. It's like, oh yes, I'm getting all this attention. Oh my god. And you gotta settle it down because he's just you think I don't pet him or play with him or feed him. But dudes, the dog is so freaking spoiled, it's not even funny. And he'll act like, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. He'll get wild. <laughs> He's like a hyper. Well, I mean, he is a terrier mix. A little short shut. <clears throat> but I love him. And I don't know what I would would have done not having him around this year, last year. Because, you know, aside, you know, my friends have helped out quite considerably. But I can't see my friends. <laughs> Except for Joe. Joe knows the story. It just, it, it, it amazes me just how freakily smart Chip is and can be and how many times he has escaped this camper. Fortunately, knock on wood, he has not tried to escape recently because he has learned that if he escapes, he's going to get, he's going to get, you know, disciplined and he doesn't want that. He wants to be on dad's good side. <laughs> I guess that's true of many pups, right? <laughs> but yeah guys um so yeah tell me are there any animals yeah, sorry we see cars we see cars showing their testosterone and their little teeny tiny keen eye um have there been any any pets in your life that that you you have fond memories of. I'm sure there are. So I would love to hear some stories from y'all. And with that, that's going to be it for me. And be sure to tune in to the boys this week and see what they're up to. Also, while I'm thinking about it, y'all tune in to, uh, if you haven't yet, tune in to uh, twitch.tv slash men of the den and see what what games they'll be streaming follow them show them some show us some love show them some love come on <laughs> anyway guys i don't know where i'm going with this so we're just gonna call it so until next time this is ed y'all be good stay safe and i will be seeing you love you guys <laughs>